Michael Prague in, uh, maybe he's in Prague. Oh, Michael from Prague, Czechoslovakia. Get it together, McGowan. <coughs> anyway, he writes to me, the last time I purchased two subwoofers, as you suggested, even though I have a pair of floor standing speakers, it changed my world for the better. I, you know, so few people <laughs> take my advice, but when they do and it works, that makes me feel really good. So thank you for that. Um, only the people who own them can understand how much they benefit from the music. Uh, that, that's true. Once you hear a full range system with a properly set up pair of loudspeakers, it ain't no going back, let me tell you. Uh, let, let me tell you about that. Okay, anyway. Um, the last piece of equipment I think I need is mains power filter. And I was looking at the PS Audio power plant, but couldn't find the information I need. As I work with frequency converters at work, I'm curious how well the power plant regenerates mains power. Is the sine wave similar to waves from the power plant generator? Have you got an oscilloscope measurements to show us? <laughs> well, yes. So here, here's a power plant, got the top of it off. It is a mains regenerator in that it takes the AC out of the wall going 50 or 60 times a second from plus to minus, plus to minus, 60 times a second, converts it to something close to battery voltage, DC, and then reconverts it to a perfect sine wave. And when I say perfect sine wave, of course, that's with the understanding there isn't anything perfect in the world. But I guess you could be perfectly wrong. <laughs> anyway, the sine wave that comes out of there relative to what's coming in is a magnitude better in terms of shape and distortion. So if you have a typical AC waveform coming in from your mains power, it's usually two, three, four percent distortion, meaning that its shape is slightly out of shape. And when you look at the output of a power plant, not only is that sine wave fully regulated, and that's the key to why it sounds better, not so much the, the lack of distortion, even though that's a good thing, the real key is that low impedance and that regulation where it's within a tenth of a volt regardless of the demand on it. And that's the key to why this thing makes your system sound so much better. Anyway, to answer your specific question, we take the three to four percent that you normally get in from the wall and we knock it down to about a tenth of a percent, about 0.1. That's pretty typical for a, a power plant, regardless of the load regardless of how much is coming in. So yeah, it is a full, honest-to-goodness regenerator. And your question about the scope, well, see this on the front here? We give you a scope, and we give you a THD analyzer. And we did that, and it's right here. So you can see the, you can see the, the oscilloscope picture before, after, during. You can see uh, the distortion products. So, you know, it's got a full THD analyzer and a scope built right in. And the reason we did that is because when we first launched this thing, there were all kinds of other AC purifiers, if you will, out there making all kinds of crazy claims. And they were really hurting our business. We were selling something legit. They were selling something uh, not quite as legit. So <laughs> we decided, you know, we tell everybody, well, if you put it on a scope, if you put it on a THD analyzer, and this is back at a time when we had dealers, they were all, well, that's great, but I don't have one. We added one. Now you do. So if they're making certain claims, all you got to do is just plug this into that device, the filter or whatever it is they're claiming does whatever, and you can measure it right on the front and plug it in the wall, see if there's any difference. And of course, there wasn't, and that helped establish power plants out in the field as a legitimate regenerator. So, okay, there you go. Thanks for the question. Good luck with your system, and I'm glad you put those subs in. All right.